Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and welcome back to episode 9 of our Conquest of Paradise Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 as England. Well, that was a mouthful, and let's just get into it. Uh, we last left off with the, uh, well, colonization of Northern America. Basically, we will, once uh, the colony in, which one is on? Euron, currently. Once this colony is finished, we will uh, actually have probably, I think it's Newfoundland will be founded, our colonial subject. And we need one more area in the northeastern American seaboard for um, basically the 13 colonies to found itself. And we had a little bit of a maintenance snafu for a minute, for one month, because our colony was almost finished. But now it's completely finished, so... Perfectly fine. We are supporting three colonies uh, simultaneously while we're actually uh, building a few. Ah, yes, our, uh, our ships are coming in, our caravels. Uh, here they are again. A call to arms by Munster. You can never have too much grain. Grain in Muncie now. Austria, the Hansa, Utrecht, and Saxony. Um, who are they attacking? Saxon Munster. Ah, so they're being attacked by Saxony, who still is the war leader, but Austria is in on it as well. I'm gonna decline Munster because really, dude, really, not happening. Not anymore. It's not. Okay, they can combine here. Uh, you can actually come ashore for a minute and get your friends in there as well. Max relations with both Castile and the Palatinate. Uh, let's relation up a bit with Aragon. I guess Sweden would also be a prime candidate. Let's do it. Fall to the end, fine. Another free diplomat, I will... Duron natives attacked, well, that's why we have our army there, basically. France is actually almost at positive, because the at-war penalty is almost gone. Well, almost at 100, so it is offset by a relationship boost. Uh, I guess we can... Muscovy, we're still quite high. Bohemia. Distrust, well, let's improve relations with them, then... 702 in Euron, that's actually quite good. 309. I'm trying to build more and more ships. What is our mission? Let's remember. Army is a mere shell of what the nation expects, at least 75%. Uh, that's about 5 to 10 more units. Somewhere in between that. We currently have 15, they're all infantry. So I guess it's uh, we should... We do need to build more. Uh, Cardinal is now loyal to Castile. Well, at least we are gaining more and more of uh, France and Palatinate. Castile. Let's just push more into him. The end of religious turmoil. Uh, let's just... Wait, wait. Oh, we need like 28 to build an artillery unit. Wow. How is our cash income? Colonial maintenance is quite high. Uh, I'm actually not too worried about this right now. Just need to get one... Either get one more uh, colonist or... Squad. Platinate. French reconquest of Antwerp. Bloody hell. Active Cardinal. Loyal to Munster. Okay, protect trade again in the Western Europe node, please. So the French are attacking en masse. Yeah, Platinate was a little bit out of the way, but I'm going to have to decline again. I cannot really afford any wars on the continent with our current uh, strength. Really cannot. Uh, we have a crappy guy. It's a shame, but yeah, what you going to do? All right, we have some ideas going. Diplomatic is still ahead, so we can definitely just push money into it. Oh, we can build a building. 
and getting more money is really good for us 1.66 yearly income that will have repaid itself in that's five every three years it will have repaid itself in 24 years building that one temple and after 15 33 33 yeah is when it starts repaying itself well 34 because it has to build for a year first and starts just making me money at that point also uh, more trade ships means more trade income as well so we need to build more trade ships it's very important you're on working on it Muncie become tuck definitely the next one I need will be here Ottawa I need to connect these two together so no one can get in between us um, because of that I am going to recall this and send a new send the settler colonists back into Euron actually to have it completed a little bit faster how much prestige oh well, we can actually have a lot more prestige it seems um, how's Castile doing here still at 110 let's just push some points into this guy how's our relationship with Mr. Pope Pope Clemens, we are almost next. Lines offer from the Hansa. Naval supplies. Oh, that's actually not bad. I'm going to decline the offer from the Hansa. We have three out of six relations. Blimey. So we have Scotland, which we are, of course, annexing now. And that will then also disappear. Marriage and alliance with Denmark. I guess we could go for an alliance and a... Uh, yeah, alliance and uh, marriage with Sweden. I mean, Northern Europe, yay. We are improving relations with Stockholm, so that's good too. 45, 49, annexing. How long? 30% done. Uh, seven more years, and then we'll have Scotland. Aye. That's good. Um, Scotland is our only vassal, but we'll soon have another colonial subject all goes well and according to plan global empire naval force limits and as well as pagan uh, marketplace yeah i also want marketplaces everywhere here because there will always be merchant pulling trade out of london but for now building more of uh, constables and temples is going to be a lot more worthwhile so let's build one in norfolk let's get all the temples up they're giving us lots of money. Yeah, and I've decided to let Portugal uh, at least get a subject nation within the Eastern American uh, colonial area. So I'm at least going to give them Onondaga. Might give them Wyando as well because that makes it a little bit more interesting with the borderline. But Navigator you really dies. Ooh. That's an interesting choice. Hang on. Uh, England 110 yeah I think we can push one here and one here there we go a greedy corsair your most feared privateer decided that enemy vessels were not enough to satisfy his lust for loot and glory so he started to attack your own merchant fleet the merchants are asking for his head but your treasurer suggested that you could find an arrangement with him since your exhausted coffers could benefit from some extra money so we must protect our merchant, sink that greedy bastard, so that would kill our own... Oh, that would kill our navigator, this guy. Okay. It's actually not that bad. Who can we replace him with? Global trade power. Well, it's actually not bad right now, because we are already colonizing here, so we should have the colonial range everywhere. Uh, w w I will have to check, though, if our... Yeah, our range should be extended by our subjects, though. That's the thing. Or we lose mercantilism, and that's something I do not want to lose, because it gives us a lot more trade power. Yeah. So we must protect our merchant. Sink that greedy bastard. I need a little bit more gold or ducats to actually buy the trade power guy, but that will actually increase our income. While the navigator did not. Hungary Protestant Reformation starts in Hungary. Uh, this is the colonial map mode. Our colonial range from Unamakik, yeah. Question is if that, if Unamakik stays the port for this area over here or if it becomes 
uh, our own ports again. So we're oh now Adam Hastings replaced him, but we're going to get Melgren Hopkins. This, let's see, yeah, it went up. So we are getting 6.47 income. That's actually good. Really good. I like. Here we go. Let's see. Ah, new idea. The final one in exploration. I will gladly take it. Also works toward. Ooh, navigation acts. More trade income, by the way, when we complete that one. Mm, bit of rights, less revolt risk. Test percent discipline. That's like a given for almost every single one of the nations. There's just a difference. Yes, I need five here. And I can point five here next month. Uh, but yeah, an increase in discipline happens to like all the armies in the world. But it, there's a degree, I think. Prussia gets more than the 10% we get. They get 15 or even 20% from their national ideas. Because it's freaking Prussia. Prussia had like the best uh, military uh, during well I suppose the period after during the Victoria period uh, Victoria as in the game so it's not just the Victorian age where the Queen Victoria reigned but it could be said that um, Prussia had the strongest army for a long time it definitely did uh, Caravel let's build two more of the buggers just more trade power, so do we control the node right now? I think we do. Western Europe, yeah, we do control the node, which is really good. Which means that most of the gold comes our direction, and that's actually quite a lot. Wow, France is doing a little bit. Colony self-sustaining, go to... Ah, we can actually name it, which is good. The new nation is an independent possession of its mother country, but may break free in the distant future if mismanaged. So Hudson Bay... Um, let's not call it Newfoundland, let's just, well, no, let's just keep that name. I mean, but we can name that, that's actually pretty cool. So we have a, this is now our subject, Newfoundland. They have, um, national decisions, colonial expansion, promote colonial expansion by introducing a resettlement program, a ruler has administrative skills, complete that exploration, number of colonial subjects, at least one. Oh, free five settler increase. Yes, please. I'll take that gladly. Um, Castile has not added yet, so we'll overtake this one instead. We can at the same time do debts and loans. I mean, it's not in itself the most powerful, but we need it to complete this further, and there will be only good stuff in the future. So we have now Newfoundland, and let's... Uh, so, hang on. Now we can check our colonial range. Yeah, it's still from Unamakik that it counts. I mean, the core changed to Newfoundland. But we'll send it first into Ottawa to complete at least the seaboard here. And that means that, like, Castile will, I think, are more likely to gain, uh, to have connection to this, to Ottawa, than to uh, Saskatchewan from their position. So that's also the reason why. And then they will be inc more inclined to, if they want to go to the New World, to settle in the Caribbean itself. So then we can just, after that, fill up northward. Which is, of course, what we're going to do after Ottawa. But first, uh, yeah. Gained core. Nice. Teutonic Order accepted peace. We'll cede Calais to Poland. That's... Yeah. Whoa. Th that's rough. So Austria forced uh, the Teutonic Order to give a province to Poland, and then, but Poland is still beating the Teutonic Order in a big war. So uh, let's look at the subjects. Uh, um, opinion is modified by t same religion and colonial ties. Willing to trust us somewhat. It's our colony. Increased tariffs. New 25 administrative power. Uh, liberty desire we start at 12 percent tariff efficiency ah oh, the plus 20 percent for the viceroys actually and they're paying us a little bit but i think it still has to s their income still has to settle somewhat but now they can do their own expansion do their own stuff uh, let's look at the nation itself it has economic and exploration ideas but none in it uh, forward they're actually improving relations with france that's scary. Um, 
Battle of Ottawa, yeah, I get it. So, economic and exploration, they have the same ideas, but they have none, no points in it. And their military level is the same as ours, and well, or their tech level in general is. So, probably after Pocomtuck, we're going to Connecticut, then Mohawk, Cumberland, Moron. Moron? Really? It's Moron? Religious civil disorder, I guess, the, Reform the Protestant religion is spreading extremely fast. So, let's look at this. Oh yes, Protestant has insanely spread already in Hungary. It's also spreading in uh, Sweden as well. Heresy, burn the priest and his books. Catholicism loses reform desire. Religion in Pocomtuck changes to Protestant. Yeah, I will do this, even though opinion with the Pope changes, and Scotland and Norway as well. But that's more fun this way. Uh, 120 still, yes. It's more fun this way because we might actually get a Protestant nation popping up here because Pocomtuck is actually in the 13 colonies region. So, dock, uh, oh yes, dry dock. Yeah, I want to build a dry dock in Munster next. So we need some more money for that, of course. Also, we have some ships there. Uh, barely, yeah, we have barely enough. Huh. Inflation is not helping right now. But it's slowly reducing, so that's a good thing. Ah, I think it has settled by now. We're getting 0.45. Well, we can increase tariffs. It gives us more money. Uh, income from our vassals, colonial income. Not that bad. Release one of your colonial subjects. Yeah, I think, I hope, I believe you can still select after that, but... I'm not gonna try it. Local shipbuilding and repair time. Um, let's see. You're coming home for a quick break, and then you're instantly patrolling again, but I just wanna add lost trade dispute. Fine, let's go back to Western Europe. Here we go. Trading is doing fine. Ooh, 50% almost with Scotland. Here we go, Ottawa is now integrated into England. No longer loyal. Bloody balls. There we go, now you're loyal again. Disputed succession of the Platinet and Brandenburg. And Denmark and Savoy as well. Su succession war between Hungary and Austria. Grateful natives have attacked. Blah. Ech, natives. Uh, we needed one more. Disputed succession, yeah. If uh, the current emperor dies, one of... Uh, a noble of my own house will ascend the throne. And actually, Bohemia would become the new emperor as well. As it stands. So... We can see buildings because it's... Uh, ooh, new settlement. Yes, let's gain more base tax there. I always like base tax. Uh, Cannot yet see. Air falls ill. Ugh. Diplomat arrived home from Sweden. Uh, air will die or gain legitimacy. Sent for a medic. Yes, he survived. Oh yeah, Henry the Eighth did not die yet. But yeah, we're gonna have to take out a loan now. That's going to happen. I'm. Th I. Th I have a feeling. That someone is yes, less money is coming into the no less is incoming. Interesting. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna need a merchant in the in the this node as well, the Chesapeake, no, the Gulf of Saint Lawrence node, to transfer it all into to ourselves. But yeah, if we can control the entire Gulf node, that would be really good. We could even ship it through the North Sea and then back into London. That might actually be more beneficial because we will control the entirety of Scotland. Oh, Munsee. And that would mean colonial expansion. Ooh, 200 population, lose some Ducats or 50 population and settler. Yeah, of course we're doing expanded. Faster colonies is always better. 
Yeah, that means we have more trade power in the North Sea node and can then push it into London at that point. But we're also going to need one in Western Europe because, of course, everyone else will be pushing it into that node regardless. So, Muncie is at 800, Kamtak at 634, Ottawa is a bit slower. Ungrateful Natives, again. Uh, 30, is Castile catching up? Yes, they are. The Congo? Wait, what? The Congo? What is this? Oh, we gain a trader. Ah, uh, that's of course uh, an advisor. Um, Sweden, I want to royal marry you. That's good. He wants that. Bohemia. Also would like a royal marriage, which we will do. Get some people. And Brandenburg, if they want to, they don't want to. So we will start improving our relations with them. Because then they might want to. Uh, let's build another temple. Mighty time, Lincoln. Home from Sweden, home from Bohemia. Yeah, as we can see, the planet is severely uh, pushing their agenda onto the planet, which is unhealthy for them. And well, as Austria on Munster, so good ideas staying out of them wars. What we're also going to do is being quite cheeky and start claiming on Orkney. Because it is actually in so close to us that I'm like, hey, that should be our this these islands should be ours. I mean really they should, the Orkneys. As well as these, but they will be a little bit harder to gain at one point, but yeah, it's fine. Um how much income? Three. Only four now. I guess our trade income is a little bit dropping. Probably because our power is waning in places. Uh, France is pushing some, but they have barely any trade power. So it's all—all all of it is because, yeah, natives again. Trade dispute against N Norway. Hmm. We are pleased to hear global tariffs is increase. I suppose there might be less money being pushed, pushed into the Western Europe trade note, regardless. So. Huh. Oh, well, of course, um, Newfoundland will want to keep some of the trade money in their own node to do stuff. Um, can we even see if they've built buildings? I'm not sure, actually. If we can see such a thing. Wow, it's cheap. 33. How is that even possible? Is that one of their ideas? Yeah, colonial traditions is yearly inflation reduction. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, ah, Portugal is indeed expanding outward in their own colony. Shoni. Well, there's a thing. No, it's actually not the case. Then I was mistaken. Oh well. Soon we shall be able to move onward. It's sold. Ah, oh, it's the Canadian node. Okay, so. Next we're going for Mohawk and Connecticut. And then we will have more. Uh, oh, hello. 35 fifth planet. Castile is not pushing anymore into this guy. Which is good. So we'll send one here and two here. Despite the fact that uh, we took all the money from the Pope. Units. Caravel. Let's build two. Actually, 47 out of 70. Jeez. Uh, we might as well just start. How much are they? Carracks are 50, though. Yeah. I do want a bigger fleet, regardless. So we're going to need more income. Yeah, we're going to need more merchants. I think the ne next idea we'll pick is going to have to be trade. And after that, we'll pick up naval as well. Ship costs, nearly tradition, force limits, morale, repair and coastal zones, trade dispute, France, damn it. There's like three merchants you gain from the trade ideas, which is really good. And you know what we're going to do, because I'm completely forgetting that we can do this, is we're going to take Mr. Wolf, 
Uh, not with that French ship, the Prince Frederick, the Goliath, and not the Queen Charlotte, no, 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 the Leopard. This unit, uh, we need to pick the other one and detach our friend from it. Mr. Wolf, conquest against Norway, really good. So now we have the Prince Frederick. Mr. Wolf, will you please set sail? To, um, well, Frobisher has arrived from. It's only 150. Wow, it's really not far. Uh, supply zones don't even reach here. We do get supplied from. Whoa. From our own nation, which is good. Um, I would like to discover more here, but also along here, actually. So. Um, hang on, where are you? I have not selected you anymore. Damn it. So you are going to sail there. Um, you're going to keep by the coast for now because that's always a little bit safer. And go down here. Then you can already return because I'm afraid that would already be enough to uh, get you destroyed. And I'll send you into Munster then. Then we'll send them to the other side of the world as well. Uh, col colonies become self-sustaining. Excellent. Which is this one. So, um, you guys are going there. And I'm going to send my colonist over there as well. And I'm going to send another one over here once Muncie is done. It's growing a little bit slower. For different reasons. Um, actually, we have the money to build three of these now. There we go. Three more caravels. Then we can slowly phase out the barks as well. I mean, we have now five versus seven. Then it will be eight versus seven. And replacing them is... We don't have to replace them until we're actually at the force limit, of course. Mr. Frobisher. I uh, don't need to. Yeah. Too bad the personal union still goes on with uh, Norway. Wouldn't... Mind that one being gone. Improve relations with Hungary. Loyalties changed. I'll have none of it. How's the Pope? Uh, 72 now. He's a bit angry. Are my ships here? Not yet. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, you're only now getting attrition. That's not that bad. So we're actually going to sail a little bit further. Oh, we cannot even queue up the next area because we cannot even see it. So he's going to be here soon. Um, I'm going to also send a small force here because I'm going to colonize a little bit here as well. Just so we can reach into India when we want to. 19th of January, still not that far. Accommodation, lose one ferocity. That's eh, okay. Soon we shall be there. Ottawa is doing fine. <laughs> How are you doing? Still not really losing anything. Ah, we've discovered some more. The Gold Coast, the Ivory Coast. How far is our colonial range? Doesn't go further than Sierra Leone, though. Oh, well. We might have to get Sierra Leone, then, first in that case. Uh, after you've done this sailing, you are going to return home. And you're... Ah, oyo... Gulf of Nigeria. Okay, you are now coming straight home. And I think that should be enough to get you there. Uh, you can now go into port. Good news. Naval supplies in Ottawa. Everyone here. Wow, we're now making more money. Nine! Holy! Where did that come from suddenly? Oh, of course you have one less colony right now. That That's making us a lot of money. That will soon change again. Uh, of course, we will lose a little bit here for a second, but go back to Western Europe. Trade in that node, please. Loyal to... Ah, the one we just put a little bit in. That's too bad. Push more here. Nobles demand increase of pension. Navis assimilation right when it's about to turn. Uh, accept demands. No, I'm going to lose stability rather than that for 10 years. 100 population. Self-sustaining. 
Uh, don't think that gives me no. Okay, I can recall you guys. Uh, natives just when I recall, and we're sending another one into Connecticut. And after Ottawa, we're going north with the other uh, colonist. Ah, oh, yes, I'm not building these now in the New World because they can build them themselves when they uh, get themselves freed from me. Yay! Uh, let's see. Marketplaces would not be the worst. Local trade power, and uh, nothing that high. Uh, constables, more tax, 1.4. Uh, it's 1.36 now for others. Yes, you can do this, and you can do this. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode right here. We are getting closer to annexing Scotland. We now have one colonial subject, soon to be two, once this either of these uh, cores, then we'll have a second colonial subject. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you guys later.